Welcome to this video on how to install MongoDB Shell on Windows. Before getting started, I highly recommend making sure you have MongoDB Community Server downloaded so that you can connect to it from the MongoDB Shell. In the description below, I've included a link to another video on how to do that. After getting MongoDB Server installed, go ahead and head on over to mongodb.com slash try slash download. And you can see I've got that pulled up here. Locate the Tools button and click on it to reveal a list of the free MongoDB tools. Now these first two are user interfaces for MongoDB. So the first one, which we're going to download today, is the shell, which allows you to basically interact with a MongoDB server through the command line. Like I said, we're going to download this one today, so go ahead and expand it here. Uh, so there's only currently one version of the shell available, so you don't need to worry about changing that and the platform generally will auto-select to whatever operating system you are using. So for me, that is Windows. That said, the current package format is a zip file, and to make the installation much easier, I'd recommend actually changing that, so changing this up here to the MSI file installer. So the package here now is MSI. This will seriously make it so much easier to download on your Windows computer, and so this is what we're going to use to do the actual installation. Click download. And go ahead and open it up. All right, now that we've got the MSI file opened up here, we're going to go ahead and click next. And it's going to ask where we want to install the files. So right now it's pointing at my specific user. You can go ahead and change that if you want to move it around. Um, you can see that it's going to save it as Mongo SH, which is just the shell. And that's, that's a good name for it, so I'd recommend leaving the default. Now, there is this other option here to install just for your user. So you can keep that selected if you just want to install it on your user profile. If you want to install it on the entire computer, you can uncheck this box, and you can see that it's going to save it to pretty much every user's profile. Now, for a number of reasons, you might not want to do that. You might want to just keep it user-specific, whether that's for uh, security purposes or whatever whatever you may come to. I, I guess the main one would, would be security. So I'd recommend leaving it checked, and you can always go back and install it on new users uh, individually. That's you know obviously not too hard to do. So leave that checked and click Next, and then you're ready to go ahead and install it. Now, before I click Install, I just want to highlight something that will happen automatically in the background. When you use the MSI, it will automatically add Mongo SH to your path environment variable so that you can call Mongo SH from the command prompt. Doing the install this way, rather than using the zip files, saves a lot of time. So, once again, that's just one reason why we did the MSI over the zip file. Uh, let's go ahead and click Install and go from there. All right, so now it should be completed. Let's go ahead and click Finish, and then we're going to go ahead and open up the Mongo SH uh, command line through the command prompt. So I'll show you how to do that here. OK, so I've got the command prompt open. And like I said, since we use the MSI installer, uh, now we can call Mongo SH from the command line here, so let's do that. I'm going to type Mongo, whoops, Mongo SH. Okay, and you can see it's connected to my Mongo DB server that's hosted locally, and it's opened in the test database, which is uh, by default here. All right, that is it for this video. If you want to learn more about MongoDB, check out the video description for additional tutorials and links to the documentation. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you at the next one.